Good morning, my friends. I'm out here. I'm going to just pull back and show you. And I'm out here in the backyard. Uh, the preserve is back here. This is my back fence. And I have uh, two grow pots. And um, I had tomatoes growing in them uh, in the spring and in the summer. And one here and one here. And I uh, also had some sweet potato uh, slips that were growing, you know, out and around it. And I harvested the sweet potatoes, only got about mm, five pounds this year, six pounds, something like that. Uh, they're delicious. And, uh, but I still had the two pots. And so um, I found a couple little um, sweet potato slips. And so I just kind of pulled them up and stuck them one here and one over on this side, but I hate to use the whole pot. Um, it's going to be tied up until, you know, six months for a sweet potato to grow. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to try a growing garlic. And I've never tried growing garlic. And I, from what I understand, in Florida, October and November are the best times to grow it. And so I went through all sorts of uh, looking at different people's videos and uh, the one lady said if you soak it in water or in my case in, in worm tea uh, for 24 hours it kind of um, inoculates it um, keeps any fungus possibilities coming and also kind of gives it a little can you see those roots starting and so i'm going to plant these i only have eight of them and this was a store-bought garlic and Look at that, there's another one that the roots are taking off. And so, like I said, I, I put these in worm castings um, a day or so ago. I might not back far enough for you, I'm sorry. Every one of them looks like the, the roots system is, is taking off. And so, like I said, I only have eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, I'm lying, seven, no, oh, he must have been hiding in there, seven, eight, and how about nine, we, it's really a tiny one, isn't it, and I'll just stick that one way down over here, okay, so now I have my worm casting tea but I also brought out some um, worm castings that I just harvested oh last month and I'm just going to put a little of that on each one because that'll water in it's not like it's not like me adding a fertilizer or anything to it in the sense of a NPK or anything to bone meal or blood meal. I mean, this should have it all in there with all the all the goodies that I add to these things. And then I'm just going to take the worm castings, the worm tea rather, and sprinkle it around. Um, there's this is an irrigation head, and you can see how close this is. So this will get watered. Uh, a few times a week and I will let you know what happens because uh, from from what I'm gathering if I plant it now this is um, October the 11th and um, I should have sometime in the spring um, maybe March or so I should have um, hopefully eight or nine uh, garlic. I, I don't know if they were, this came from the grocery store, uh, the, you know, it was just, it wasn't in the organic section, Rick just came home with it. Uh, it's not an elephant garlic, just regular garlic. And I, to be honest, I couldn't tell if it was soft neck or hard neck. I think it was probably a soft neck because if you peeled back the paper, it was, it was right there. It just looked like it was, um, you know like ready ready to fall apart and from what i understand i believe that's the soft neck 
So uh, if anybody has any advice for me, uh, this is how far I've gotten. And uh, let me know what you guys think, if you've ever tried garlic and if you've had success with it. So anyway, that, that was it. I just wanted to drop in and say hi. And I hope everybody has a great day. And uh, remember, garden what you've got. And come back and see me again real soon because you know I'll be here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.